Trump supporters storm U.S. Capitol. Reconvened Congress certifies Biden win. Events leading up to the disaster. Yesterday, the U.S. Congress, which is comprised of the House and the Senate, held a joint session in the U.S. Capitol. They were holding discussions on the Electoral College (EC) votes cast for the third November 2020 presidential election. President Donald Trump has consistently rejected the results of the election, asserting baseless allegations of electoral fraud. Yesterday, he told his supporters to descend on the Capitol, claiming that he would join them and march with them. He did not join them, but the march continued. The fall of the Capitol. Furious with Congress and the outcome of some of the、uh, Electoral College votes, Trump supporters who were on the march decided to storm the Capitol. Even though the attack might, at first glance,、uh, appear to be spontaneous, white supremacists and other conspiracy groups had con- circulated plans for this attack online since many months ago. Police protecting the Capitol were forced to deploy tear gas and fire shots at the invaders. The police moved to evacuate Congress, but some lawmakers could not escape in time and had to barricade themselves in offices. Trump supporters broke through windows to enter the Capitol, clashing with police and sieging rooms with trapped officials. They spent the next few hours damaging and looting government property, along with planting pipe bombs. After the capture of the Capitol by his supporters, Trump tweeted that Vice President Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done. This incited supporters in the Capitol to start a manhunt to capture Pence. Trump also cl-、uh, continued to reiterate his false claims of electoral fraud, while his supporters ransacked the Capitol and threatened staff. His Twitter account was later suspended for half a day, forcing him to borrow his spokesperson's account. The police later regained control of the Capitol, arresting some Trump supporters in the process. The death toll stands at five, with one being a police officer who died after being struck in the head、uh, by Trump supporters. With a fire extinguisher, defiant in the face of terror, the Congress reconvened with Vice President Mike Pence heading the Senate. Pence proclaimed that Trump supporters had not won, as violence never wins. Pence had previously been pressured by Trump to overturn the EC votes and falsely accuse,、uh, sorry, falsely announce Trump as the winner. Even though Pence repeatedly reminded Trump that he does not have the constitutional powers to do so, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell also said that the Senate would not be intimidated. He explained that he would not support overturning of EC votes, as that would destroy democracy. The Senate then oversaw the certification of President-elect Joe Biden's victory in the elections. Despite this, Trump-aligned Republicans still attempted to support Trump and dispute the results, even after some of them had been personally endangered by his followers. The objections were expectedly defeated with overwhelming majorities. However, Biden, who will soon be president, condemned the unprecedented assault on American democracy. Several House Democrats are discussing attempting to impeach Trump again, while some Republicans discussed invoking the Twenty Fifth Amendment, which could see Trump removed from office even before his term officially ends on twenty、uh, January twenty twenty one. International reactions: The Chinese Foreign Ministry and state、uh, Chinese state linked tabloid Global Times criticized the difference in attitudes that Americans had towards the storming of the U.S. Capitol. Versus the storming of the Hong Kong Legislative Council in 2019, the Communist Youth League and many Chinese netizens rejoiced at the chaos, viewing the incident as just retribution for U.S. interference in Hong Kong. Canadian, Indian, United Nations, and European leaders expressed horror and anger towards the latest assault on democracy in the U.S. German Chancellor Angela Merkel pointed out that Trump was responsible for fanning the flames of unrest. During the crisis yesterday, Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien、uh, wished for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Speaker of Parliament Tan Chuan Jin said that he hoped that the situation would stabilize and that the law、uh, must prevail over mob justice. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs cautioned Singaporeans in America to watch out for their safety and avoid any demonstrations.